All right, folks, welcome to Toy Car Part 5, where we're going to do some stuff to the wheel and spruce it up a little bit. Uh, this assignment is only for those that are currently uh, um, either on pace or ahead of pace. If you're behind, then do not do this assignment. You're going to move on to do other things. I'm only making it worth a couple of points. So it's not going to really hurt you that much to not do it, but it's going to hurt you to stay behind. All right. Let's um, go ahead and we're first thing we're going to do is we're going to put some lugs and some lug nuts on this thing. Um, so uh, we want to sketch on this surface right here. So we're going to sketch on this surface. OK, um, I am going to draw a circle straight up from here. I didn't uh, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Notice I hovered over the center. And I'm going to go right about in the middle ish. OK, pull out and we're going to make a um, two millimeter circle. Po I'm sorry, 0.2 millimeter circle. OK, it's going to look just like that. All right, cool. Now let's go ahead and dimension this thing. From the center point to the origin point. And we're going to make that. Uh, Let's make it 1.15, okay? Uh, that'll work, that'll look pretty good, just like that, 1.15. All right, now, um, I also, that shouldn't be blue, that means I haven't locked it into place, so I'm gonna use my vertical constraint to say I want it vertical from the center point to the center point. There we go, things have turned black. All right, we're gonna finish sketch. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make a, a thread stud, which normally in a real wheel, it would go through a hole would be there and the lug would would come through. And we bolt it on, but we're going to kind of cheat a little bit to make it look like that. All right. Now we're going to um, extrude that out. And we're going to extrude that out to 0.2 millimeters. It's just going to be like a little nub sticking out. Enter. OK, so we've got our little um, post sticking out that that is 0.2. And now we're going to thread that thing. So come up here to um, create thread. We're going to click create thread. OK, and we're going to click on that surface. Now it'll automatically show you kind of a, a preview of what that's going to look like. Now we do not want to go full length. We're going to uncheck that. OK, and we're going to change our length to 0.1 millimeters so it only goes halfway all right so just like this it's just going to thread the end and we're going to model that okay um now it's barely going to do that i think i changed my mind let's go 0.15 millimeters of thread there we go uh and we'll click okay if you'd already closed it you can always go back and double click on your on your thread feature to edit that thing. Okay. I'm going to click OK. And that creates a threaded little stud to put a um, to put a nut on. Now, it's imp the reason why we didn't do threads the whole way is I need this part to be a uh, circular that's up against the base. All right. Next, we're going to get a lug nut. Now, it's going to look weird when we first put it in. Don't worry. We're going to fix it. All right. Uh, we're going to come up uh, to insert Click on the drop down menu. We're going to insert a McMaster car uh, component. McMaster car is uh, like a hardware store um, for any kind of uh, fastener or bearing or things like that that you can think of. Um, and this brings up all this stuff. All this stuff is available for us um, to put into the model. But we're going to choose nuts. OK, come over to metric and click on metric. And then let's scroll down until we get to I want cap nuts. Hmm, those aren't there. I think I did. I think I made a mistake. OK, I'm going to get out of that. Close. It's all right. I'm going to try it again. Let's insert McMaster car component. I do want nuts. Oh, that's what I needed to do is before I clicked metric, I needed to scroll down to cap nuts, choose that, and then choose metric. There we go. 
All right. Now, this rounded over thing looks kind of weird. Let's scroll down a little bit to these metric super corrosion resistance 316 stainless steel cap nuts. Those look cool. And the smallest we can get is three millimeters. Now, remember that size we had was 0.2. It's going to, so it's tiny compared to what we're about to do. So we're going to click on that, um, that little link right there. And that allows us to get um, uh, a CAD model right here. Now, notice right now it says 3D SolidWorks. That's not what we're going to use. We're going to go down to 3D step with no threads. So we're going to kind of pretend the threading is in there. Okay. 3D step, no threads for this 316 M3 by five millimeter thread and hit download. Now what's going to happen next is going to freak you out and don't worry. You didn't do anything wrong. Download. Boom. Look at the size of that thing. It's huge, right? But don't worry, we're going to fix it. So kind of move that thing out by grabbing one of the arrows. Again, if it messed up, you can always hit undo. And we're going to click OK. OK. And notice it puts that little nut into our assembly for us. OK. Now, um, what we need to do, though, obviously, is make this smaller. So the way we can do that is scale this. So we're going to choose that piece and we're going to modify and scale, okay? All right, so we need to select our entity, which is this dude. I guess I have to click it in the actual graphics window. The point we're gonna choose um, is kind of tricky. There's no real point to select. You're gonna come over to origin and expand it. Notice I'm selecting the point and we're gonna click on this zero, okay? So I've selected the entity, I've selected the point. Now my scale factor is going to be a really tiny number because we're scaling it down. So it's going to be the 0.2 size um, uh, spindle that we had, little um, uh, bolt, divided by the three millimeters that that is. Okay. Um, so it's 0.2 divided by three. Okay. And check it out. It's made it now the right size. All right. Cool. So next thing we're going to do is we are going to assemble that onto this little threaded dude. So we're going to come up here to assemble and click joint. Okay, now notice it, it wants us to pick this first and not that. And that's okay. It might have made your wheel solid color and grade this out. I don't know, but it doesn't matter which thing you pick first. Our motion is going to be rigid. Make sure you choose that. Go back to position. And whichever one of these is first, you're going to hover over either this pin or if or this one, depending on which one's um, is not washed out. So we're going to hover over this little circle right here. See that little um, disc in there that shows up with the blue line sticking out? That's what we want. So I click that one. Notice now it made that one whited out, and now we're going to come up to our lug, zoom way in, and see this ring that where the bolt meets this flat surface? We're going to choose that ring right there and click. Okay. Now, the bolt is there. It's just inside the metal, so we need to flip it and bring it out. And finally, as long as that worked, click OK. If it didn't work, try again. Okay. Cool. Now we've got our lug nuts on there. All right. Now we're going to take that dude and make a pattern out of it. So um, we're going to take um, this bolt that we've got highlighted over here in the in the um, browser. Now we're actually only doing the bolts. We're not doing the uh, threaded bolt part, just the nut. So shh, don't tell anybody. It'll look like it's all in there. And we're going to go create and we're gonna make a pattern and we're gonna to go to circular pattern, okay? So notice it says, oh, you've already selected something. Um, it is a component and so that's okay because it is this component that we want to do. If it doesn't say components, go ahead and select component and the axis we're going to select by turning that blue and hover over any one of these cylinders that goes around, like that one is just fine click. Okay. Right now it's three. You can do as many or little as you want. You know, old uh, 
Datsuns and Toyotas used to have four. Most uh, um, most things have five. Some Chevys have six. You can decide what you want. I think I'll do five of them and click OK. Cool. That looks pretty cool, right? Um, having our... Uh, I don't, know what, I don't know why it's showing that joint right there. You can always turn your joints off by turning that off. Okay, it looks pretty cool. All right, now the last thing, if you choose to do it, uh, is um, you can always color this uh, by coming up here to body one. Right click, change our either physical material or our appearance. Okay, this window is going to pop up move myself over here and um you know you can do things like come down here to paint you know there's glossy there's metal flake there's metallic okay which is kind of cool now sometimes you have to download these if it doesn't show it as a round thing you might have to um you might have to uh download it before you can bring it over here okay so there's your metal flake and it's doing that it it's it's kind of reflective okay that's that's a property of that if you don't like that you can undo it the other thing is is that we can also um just do a a face so like for example i can choose all of these faces and edit those faces Okay, you can change the appearance of just a face. Let's do something like, like a silver. Let's see if I've got a, a glossy, I've got white. <laughs> oh, there's silver right there. Let's put that on there and see how that looks. Okay. So anyway, you can do all sorts of stuff like that. Make it look cool. Um, you know, do what you like, be creative, make it your own, have fun with it. All right. When you're done with that, uh, if you did it, go ahead and take a picture of that and uh, turn that in. Good job, folks. We will see you for part six um, where we're going to make a tire.